to this day's this continuing day's call the stream. Turn the asshole! And it's full. Let's just say that the only reason why the previous stream ended is only because, for some strange reason, there was an there was enough of whatever. I don't know what was causing it, but no matter enough what, this was just a cheater. enough was going on to where the game the just had cheats. to crash. See, this is the last time it auto saved. What we found here. Cheater! You're a fucking cheater! You're nothing but a cheater! Hello, squatter camp. Sons of bitches have been setting up ambushes around here, yeah? Yeah, I know. Oh, dude, I. Man, I I think I played so much of RDR that I'm just behind. mastering the country accent. I just signed a deal. You cheated your way here, and I cheated the contract to work my benefit. We're both cheaters. How about that? Get 
gave me my time. If I uh, relieve energizing just the usual amount of empty. Just say that even though I don't like cold, cold business, too, it's into the strip of power dick and bike, but hopefully, still got some nice, expo nice um, exposure kind of radio free. I think real free open, it does have some things people should ponder upon. Think about it. This cope, they're not trying to reclaim shit! You don't have a damn clue what you're talking about. Well, except, uh, yeah, they will shoot you on sight. Lucky guy. Dear Crossy, you know, there was a time where that was a bad idea, and you know what? Uh, it still is. So but he was only the hardest one because I, he literally was a is it? God damn, this has got to be close. Both in character and in combat. Huh. So fast. Let's burn it up. Oh yeah. Got a fall these things down until Hopefully, the, if there's any kind of remaining human soul in them, that they go to heaven, but any the unheavenly, but any things that, that deserve it, those strict to, will be judged to hell. I'll come back later, finish burning up these nests. Oh. Biker boys. Open the gate. Where's Tucker? Alki. About the dig site. Well, which one? God damn it. The north one. Back there. So, so like forty-five percent. Yeah. On it. I break it. So I guess so. Whatever, man. Jesus. I keep telling you. Everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to. I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! Whether it takes all goddamn year. 
It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Free wrong. Wait. Alpine Skyline. Not finished. We'll make it quick. Oh, we got hours. I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them. How the f Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al, are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I, I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Al Kai. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig. You want me out there in the shit, chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? Oh, I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. God, this is a really tall place. How long has it been since you found someone and brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the people. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you, we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? <laughs> because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. <laughs> Jesus. You keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs. Oh God, like these are the graves. Try using more gasoline. Burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you going to put in that bike of yours? Spit and sweat? <laughs> now what the hell is going on here? The yeah, it's on the drift. Is missing food. Yeah, if they yeah. were over one out of gas, the drifters would definitely have to find ways to Wheeler. modify their bikes Tonight, to try to watch. still go without gas off. somehow. You got it. Trouble in paradise. It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survive. What and the... Uh... Nasty enough. What's happening? The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. Yeah. You, get your ass back to work. Don't make me go get Cyrus. Lazy sons of bitches can screw around. I didn't even have to click no. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? Amazing. You were warden or something? Nothing so high and mighty. Oh, I was no. matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen back in the day. You ever do time? I'm a look at what I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Forks, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like. But he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. Oh, I Look, see. Tuck, I want the rest of my credits. Yes, you want him as your puppy. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. Okay. Huh. Alcott. What do you want, Drifter? What's 
your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped a ripper camp over by Iron Butte. Hmm. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if you knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if you'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, <laughs> what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. Uh, uh, you ask me? You got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Yeah, why don't you just show okay. me what you got? Because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Nice. Let's see here. Weapons. Let's see here. Weapons. Let's see here. Hmm. Hmm, this one seems very nice. Indeed. Yeah, don't worry, I'll make sure the whole bunch of trust is up. That was an accident. Can I get anything else for you? Okay, sure. Could you constantly trade Pokemon? Or like, how often can you trade them? Yeah, that's some BS. No, screw that. Now I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. We can't head north until I get this bike fixed up. Copeland it is. How's it going? Boy, glitchy, my man. Tucker to Deacon St. John, are you listening? I talked to Alki the other day, some of the other men. I know you've been doing runs for the camp. I just wanted to say thank you. I 
say. It's all clear. Guess I'll come back later, burn out these nests. Still don't know how to get the ice caps. St. John, stop by the hot springs when you can. Doctor, I hear you. St. John out. I know, but then, what? like, your stupid-ass gymnastics don't Dude, make sense. son of a bitch. Hey, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, well, Cope kind of frowns on that. Not a fan of it myself, if you want to know the truth. Give Drifters a bad name. But what if you shot Manny? You know, who fixed my bike, then? Stupid piece of shit. Now, screw you. You want to cope with Tonys, you little bitch. That's what you are, Dude. you little bitch! Cope, Where the it's hell done. am I supposed to go with that trampoline? Yeah, you Mark down these coordinates and send your man out here. Dude. Is he alive? Hey, hey, Drifter. Yeah, he's alive. But I won't promise you how long he's gonna stay that way. Beacon out. <laughs> you tell him, Drifter. You tell him I said good. That's what you get, you assholes. Oh, motherfucker. And why not work it? Interesting. Why the hell do they design that bridge like you that? I was just calling to check up on you. Yeah, do you Hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we're riding north, just like you said. Ah, I hope so. God, I miss you. 
just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we got to stock up on some gear. But once you're patched up, we're out of here. Deacon yes, out. Yes, I did clear this. Mm, I thought that blows up real good. One here. Yep. Okay, this is it. Yeah, oh, this camp is going to be crawling. Yeah, going on foot. Nice and quiet. Indeed. Why is it? Why do they gotta be so excited? Well, let's just say that take care of zombies in the malls. There we go. And just toss a bit of Molotovs around. Yeah. You know, in Days Gone, when you're taking care of certain kind of you know, yes, you people that the, kind of fetch uh, enough where they became like zombies. One of the options you have of taking them out <gasps> is on, basically using Molotovs. Okay, one nest done. How many more you got? Bro, that's some BS. That's some major BS. A whole bunch of I've zombies.
Shut the hell up! God damn it, what you all shit yourself at once? Jesus. They nearly have to burn all shut your dumb ass up. Oh, God damn freaks. What the hell are you doing in here? Huh? Get kind of cold out of here. Thought I'd help you out. Parkour stinks as fuck. I'd like to see you guys. Oh. Asshole. You're nearly at the birdhouse. Look at that, I got down your annoying little voice tone. How do you feel about that? Okay. So I can't do anything that way. to make it impossible for me. I'm nearing the end, so it says, what? No, fuck you. Game is it. <laughs> I'm about to legit look up how people would get through this bar so they would stop pissing me off. the most annoying piece of shit of all. Oh boy, I think I'm I don't know, you ass. read all these. Then I guess you probably aren't making it. I am a certified dumbass, because I did not see it to do that. Do you want me, do you want me to clip that for you or something? I'm gonna that. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to Volpo over there. 
way, way, way. How? Oh my gosh. Am I not supposed to go up through there? How the fuck else am I supposed to go up? Making no bullshit sense. I'm gonna look at how to get the burnouts because this shit makes no fucking sense. Come on, fellas. Those nests should be less freaks on the mountain from now on. Hey, Deke. How'd it go with her? Were there a lot of them? Nah, it wasn't too bad. That's why I wanted to take them on while it's dark out. Some of them were strong as hell, though. Yeah. Cold makes them stronger. But you knew that. Yeah, yeah, Boozer. I knew that. Shut up, loser. Keep it out. Wise choice. Wise choice. Uh, you go see Manny. Maybe he can help you with that bike of yours. <laughs> Man, you've been doing so much. Much for the camp. Cope asked me to find you some extra bike parts and shit. Campers. I got parts if you're looking. Need anything else?
mystique. All right, see you, D. Loser. Why the hell aren't you in your damn bunk? I couldn't sleep. Remember what I said back in the tunnel? Don't go out there, Dave. It's, it's making you crazy. Loser, I... Okay, look. I go up there because there's freaks out there. I kill them here, I kill them there. Bounties are all the same. And what are the tulips for, huh? I saw them, Deke. Here on the table. This morning. The same one she had at the wedding. I remember. Fucking up. Listen, sir. Get some rest. I gotta go. Peeking out. Two of those boots are stone crop. Get it right. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Another goddamn razor this morning. In our supposed global utopia, instead of getting the best products from around the world, we got the shittiest products cheap foreign labor could churn out. Everything in the last 50 years was built to break so that you could buy once, buy again. Can't pull a scorn. You're the assholes who tried to ambush me. The new phone, the new this and that. All to feed the beast of crass commercialism. You want something built to last? You couldn't go overseas, nope. You need real, hard-working Americans at the helm. When we build something, it'll stand the test of time. And the same hands that built this country, they'll withstand anything this new world throws at us. Our roads bend, friends, but they do not break. And neither will we. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. They look pretty broken to me, Cop, but hey, whatever you say. There's nothing wrong with a little crass commercialism. Hell, I could use a new bike right about now. Ah, shit, that's right. I gotta finish burning out these nests. Hmm. That's interesting.
Alvarez. I'm not gonna leave you to the freaks. Rest in peace. They can't get you now. Who's are you there? Yeah, Deke. Take care of it. Thanks, brother. She didn't see for us. Yeah, she would have. Don't worry, fellas. I'll be back later. Finish burning you out. of these nests.
nice refugee camp. Yeah, you all would be better off out in the shit. Nero couldn't protect you from a goddamn thing. It is the day when Mickey Mouse, yeah, remember that mouse? The most important mouse in the world? The mouse that is behind one of the biggest media empires in the world, Disney? Yeah, the earliest version of this little twink mouse is finally free from copyright law. And what do I mean by that, ladies and gentlemen? We are looking at Steamboat Willie. You see that Mickey over there? That Mickey, ladies and gentlemen, is finally in the public domain. Yeah, so much time has passed since this actual production was made that Mickey Mouse, at least this first iteration of it, is finally free. 
Now, you might remember a while back when, like, you know, Winnie the Pooh entered the sort of, like, copyright-free territory, and there was a really, really, really shitty movie that was made because of it. You may remember the movie uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, and Blood and Honey wasn't exactly a great movie. It's a slasher movie that came out literally last year. The sequel is supposed to come out next month, apparently, this year. And the uh, first version of it was a boring, boring slasher. The whole premise was the Thousand Acre Woods had some of the most corrupted versions of our old friend Winnie. And uh, that's pretty much how the story went. Wasn't exactly a great slasher movie. Wasn't actually a great movie anyways. And if, you, if it sounds like I'm pissed, that's because I wasted my time, my wife's time, my friend's times watching this movie. Now there's other versions of Mickey Mouse that are free. This is plain crazy. And of course, Mickey is just mad that he has to be in public domain. Papa Walt isn't gonna be too proud about this one, is he? <laughs> so of course, yeah, these, uh, this, there are two cartoons, two of them silent, one of them with sound, that are now entering public domain. And you might be wondering, whoa, can I do anything with them right now? And the reality is, it's very complicated, okay? So we're gonna actually look through a couple laws. Now, public domain, for anybody that wonders what public domain necessarily is, this is January 1st, and of course, these are all the pieces of media that have finally entered the public domain. So obviously, Steamboat Willie is the, is the center of that. But you've got some Charlie Chaplin one over there, you've got some Dark Princess, you've got millions of cats. This is not the only thing that's entirely available, and this is, of course, published by the, I believe, Duke University. So yeah, this is the Duke University, like, center for public, the study of public domain. So yeah, on January 1st, 2024, thousands of copywriter works from 1928, which is where Steamboat Willie ended up coming from, will enter the U.S. public domain. Along with sound recordings from 1923, they will all be free to copy, share, and build upon. This year's highlighting, again, ladies and gentlemen, obviously Mickey Mouse and a whole bunch of other very popular tracks. These are just a handful of works that will be in the U.S. public domain in 2024. They were first set to go in public domain after a 56-year term in 1984, but a term extension pushed that date to 2004. They were then supposed to go into public domain in 2004, but after being copyrighted for 75 years. But before this could happen, Congress hit another 20-year pause button and extended their copyright term to 95 years. And now the wait is finally over. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, almost 100 years later, we finally get to fuck around with old Mickey. And literally, we only do get to mess around with old Mickey. See, this is Mickey from like 95 years ago. If you decide to use Mickey Mouse from a year ago, you're going into a court battle with Disney and it's gonna be very costly for you and minuscule for them. So don't even think of trying that. But it's kind of impressive how like the most like iconic character from Disney is at least an iteration of him. The first one is at least copyright free. You know, Mickey Mouse is so important. The moment you step into Disneyland and in, like Los Angeles, the first thing you see is old Walt standing there with Mickey Mouse pretty much frozen in carbonite looking at you walking down the, 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 the gates to Disney. So again, it's not like this is Thor that went copyright free. It's not like, you know, Han Solo, any of Disney's other properties. Arguably, their biggest brand ambassador has been, like, at least in some iteration, free for, uh, free for copyright, okay? But again, that's just the first iteration of them. So how long does it take, Mudahar, you might be asking? for uh, Mickey Mouse to be turned into a horror film. <laughs> 10 hours, 10 fucking hours is all it takes, okay? The corpse right now doesn't even have maggots in it. In fact, necrophiliacs argue if it's even attractive to them yet because the corpse is that alive right now. It's, it's literally only been a few hours. But again, a game known as Infestation 88 gave an official uh, release trailer and they showcased, you know, how this is a game where old Mickey Mouse is floating around. I'm not joking with you, these guys are gassing up Mickey, <laughs> a horror version of him. And while it looks interesting, kind of looks like a lethal company mix almost, Mickey's supposed to be hunting you down through here. And yeah, that's, that's it, the game is right there. It's literally 88 infestation Mickey. Didn't even expect this game to already be like on, on the throws. But with how the trailer looks, I'm pretty sure this was cobbled together in like a few days, if anything. They were really in anticipation of this basically coming out. 
Look at that, dude. They, they're literally hunting Mickey over here. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. A co-op war in which you are an exterminator treating sinister infestation caused by twisted versions of classic characters and urban legends. Oh, when right. release date 2024, Facebook yeah, a day before that, you would have been taken to court. <laughs> God damn. Now, obviously, when these characters enter the public domain, obviously, such as horror films that are going to be made, I'm waiting for, like, Brazzers or something to come up with, like, a Mickey Mouse thing. I mean, we've already got things like Strokemon. I, I, would, I mean, be to be right fair, that would all be covered under, like, parody mostly anyways, but at this point, you can pretty much take Steamboat Willie, uh, the town, if you will, and, and, uh, and make him do some real dirty shit. But again, looking at this law over here, something that I learned about public domain in the United States is that, of course, according to the U.S., all works published or released in the United States before January 1st, 20, 1929, have actually lost their copyright protection. So if you find any piece of media before that specific date in the United States, again, in the United States, not out of it, they've lost their effective DMCA copyright protection. But since January 1st, 2024, in the same manner, works published in 1929 will enter the public domain as of January 1st, 2025. And this cycle repeats until works published in 1977 will enter the public domain in January 1st, 2073. Works of corporate authorship will continue to adhere to the 95-year term following the 2073 date. Under current copyright law, beginning in 2048, 1978 and works beyond by creators who died seven decades earlier will expire each year. For example, if a creator was to die in 2002, his or her copyright would last throughout the end of 2072 and enter the public domain on January 1st, 2073. So I actually didn't know how impressive like the copyright law was in holding up somebody's copyright until it would enter public scrutiny. I always thought that because of estate rules and the fact that companies could own characters that the death of an original creator wouldn't necessarily matter as much and these kind of copyrights could be withheld indefinitely. Now, obviously, trademarking is different. If you use last year's interpretation of Mickey Mouse, that takes you to court. If you use Steamboat Willie without, you know, it representing any of modern Mickey, you should basically be good. But again, I looked more into, like, the laws around it, and one of them I didn't really know was the Copyright Term Extension Act, which is also known as the Sonny Bono Act or the Mickey Mouse Protection Act. Insanity. And it is actually an act that was effective since October 27th, of 1998 and the whole ruling around here was to freeze the advancement date of public domain in the united states for works that are covered by those older fixed term copyright rules so under this act works made in 1923 or afterwards were still protected by copyright in 98. so again it like we looked into the beginning of it it really looked like this was one of these acts that was out there to initially freeze the copyright and it's because of acts like this that we had to wait almost 100 years for Mickey Mouse, at least the first iteration of it, to be basically legal. Now, I wonder what's going to happen with following iterations of Mickey Mouse, like past 1920, maybe sometime in the next decade, other versions will become more freer and there will be more horror games made out of it. I would absolutely kill to have a horror game franchise that would literally year after year just keep adding public domain classic cartoon characters as violent beings. That would be goddamn hilarious. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, pretty big day for copyright law, I would say. Pretty interesting date because honestly, it's not that often that one of the most iconic characters in media suddenly becomes free to use, free to distribute. But again, only that first version. Ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar, and hopefully, you know, this, this, this made you laugh. Hopefully you learned something. I definitely learned something. I learned just how far public domain can go. But of course, I wonder what Disney's going to say about this. Obviously, they pretty much stand by that the modern version of Mickey is theirs and their only. And nobody's arguing that, okay? And nobody's got the legal chops to be arguing that. <laughs> but at least the first version, it seems. There's already video games, maybe even a movie. Shit, I don't know. God knows what comes out of it in the next week. But this is me, Mudahar, and if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it or dislike it. What an amazing start to 2024. Let's see what this year truly brings. I am out.
Doctrine on Twitter because a former developer for Rockstar said a bunch of stuff, um, largely speculation, but this is some commentary on that that caught my eye. Nick Tech says, former Rockstar dev saying Rockstar Games doesn't have the resources to make a PC port of GTA 6 at launch is a blatant lie, considering the fact that Take 2 annual revenue was increased 52.64% compared to 2022. Like, while I'm sure Rockstar has other reasons for delaying a PC port, you know, you know, they can essentially double dip, sell the game twice. It's not the case that just having more money means that you can do more stuff. As a person who has a bit of money and who would be perfectly willing to pay more people to do things, it's hard to find the right people for the job. It's not like Rockstar has just like a Rockstar 2 off to the side that they could just give more money to and get the exact same quality product as they would if they did it themselves. They learned that from Grove Street Games. And if you've seen any of the commentary around the more recent ports, the mobile ports of some of the earlier GTA titles, they are way better because they found someone else to work on those titles. Rockstar can't just be like, money, and then just have, you know, infinite resources. The resources are more than simply money. And so I don't agree with this argument that Rockstar has unlimited development resources because they have a lot of money. But I do agree that Rockstar is more than likely just prioritizing what makes them the most money. They are a company after all. I went to Melbourne for a Christmas party. So I missed two days of streaming. And that was because I went down to Melbourne for a Christmas party kind of thing with, I guess, my management org people, the power org, which I, I'm kind of in, but kind of not. And I guess Laser Beam and his crew. I think it was like 30 of us there. People that I vaguely know. It was fun to the degree that I, I'm happy I went, but it wasn't like a life altering experience or something. <laughs> It's hard for a Christmas party to be that way, but it was uh, enjoyable and they're nice people. It's just unfortunate that because I am in Sydney, it requires such a huge investment to, you know, fly down there and then fly back the next day. One interesting experience from the trip though, was when I was landing in Melbourne, the pilot failed to land and had to take off again. He claims because there was some wind or something. But the experience of, yes, I'm finally getting off this plane. Holy hell, this is awful. I'm so hungry. And then just about to land and having to take off again, having to fly up there for like 20 minutes, whatever, as he like flies and turns all the way around to come back in. I was true hell, absolutely awful. I've never flown with uh, Virgin Airways before and I probably won't again. I always fly with Qantas because when I was first flying, I looked up, what is the safest airways company or whatever? So I looked up the safest airline and Qantas was said to be the one that had never crashed. I was like, oh good, I'll fly with them. I actually heard it referenced recently in the movie Rain Man from 1988 or so something. Tom Cruise's character in the movie is like, every airline crashes sometimes. What, you, you, you can't just not go on an airline because they crash sometimes. They're, they're very, very safe. Every airline crashes. And the dude is like, Qantas. Qantas? Qantas never crashed. Qantas? And Tom Cruise is like, well, we, we can't go to Australia to fly on Qantas. There's no Qantas flight from where we are. We're not going to go to Australia to get on a Qantas flight. I thought that was very funny. And that was in, in like 1988. It's now 2023 and they're still keeping up that, uh, that streak of never crashing. Other than that, the one thing that stands out from being down there is that Laser Beam, Laser Beam, his real name's Lennon. Um, Lennon talked to me about that drama I got in with Cadence, the editor dude, a few weeks ago. And I had that conversation with multiple different people throughout the night that apparently that drama went across their radar. And so they were all discussing it and how they didn't think Cadence acted very good and thought he was largely in the wrong, unsurprisingly. But it was a very awkward conversation for me because I, 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 I want to be that guy who's just like, yeah, fuck that dude. I was completely blameless. I am just the best and everyone else is wrong, but I'm just not.
someone's uh, uh, saying to me like, oh, you, you, you're you fine, you're flawless. I'm like, nah, I'm not, man. I could have communicated it better. There was definitely a miscommunication and it takes two to tango. It just clearly wasn't something that deserved or should have been thrown onto Twitter within like less than a day in which an argument occurred. As I said at the time, like, like Cadence was definitely doing himself a disservice because it gets around that you're kind of this way, that the second there's some sort of disagreement that you Hey, that's okay. It's just weird. You told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you. I mean, I knew that it was getting worse, but I... None of us knew it was going to go away for like this. It's fast. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey. I didn't lose an anyone. I made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sarah, come on. There's a kid here. Wait. Hey. <laughs> Hey, are you okay? Mom, we gotta find new parents, okay? Come on. Oh, stabbed me. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. Okay, what? Hold this here as soon as you can. Can you run? I don't think so. I think I can walk. Okay, good enough. Okay. Two hours ago, this place was calling the feds. Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, 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 they must have bugged out. Yeah, she's burning up. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning sick. Mm. How you doing, mm. little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm.